Hello everyone and welcome to our exam B. In this video, we are going to discuss the last two descriptive questions for Nabard IT. And this is the sixth video of the series and the last video for the series where we will be ending all the 12 questions that are asked in 2021 and 2022. So let's begin with the question. And the first question is related to Hadoop. How, why Hadoop is used in big data analytics? Explain the features of Hadoop. So here you have the question in two parts. You have to answer one by one. First, you have to give a strong introduction about the Hadoop, which will lay your understanding clear to the examiner. After that, you will make sure that you are uh, making the Hadoop concept clear by explaining uh, the kind of uh, modules which are there in the Hadoop. So basically four modules, which are basically the ecosystem of Hadoop are the HDFS, YARN, and the MapReduce and the Hadoop Common. So you have to explain all these four in three to four lines so that the ecosystem is being translated very well. Once the ecosystem is being translated, then definitely the understanding of Hadoop along with the introduction will give you the proper answer. After that, you can give some use cases of the Hadoop and then you can give a small description for the summary and the relation of Hadoop to the big analytics or big data analytics. And at the end, if you want to lay down the features explicitly, you can do so. Otherwise, these things that better data driven, improved data access analysis, data offload and consolidation, these all are actually the other kind of few features that Hadoop has. So you can uh, like change the order in which you want to lay down the answer. But yes, this will be the skeleton that you have to go along with to give the proper answer. Now, the second question is to write a note on binary source tree and explain the worst case, best case running time complexity and the space time complexity. So here, first you will explain about the binary source tree, what it is. Then you will explain about the complexities. When we talk about the complexity, there are only two time and space. And for that, there are different algorithms like searching, insertion, deletion, a lot many. So you have to figure out at least three basic or four basic algorithms and discuss the space and time complexity for that. For example, this is the uh, example how you are going to explain. Let's say for searching, insertion and deletion, you are going to explain uh, that what we are going to do and what is the time complexity. In the similar manner, you can explain the second part that is the space complexity in such a manner. Now, I have given you a table. You can't make a table in the exam, but if you will remember this table, you will write good paragraphs and good points in the exam. So insertion, deletion and searching operation for the worst case, average case, best case, running time complexity and the space complexity are being given here. So you just translate this entire table into your own words, into your own understanding, whether you want to put it in a paragraph or you just want to put it in like a, uh, what you can say in a book point based banner it depends upon you so the question is very easy but how you represent the question will actually uh, make the difference uh, how you are getting marks and how others are getting marks so yes this was the last question and by this we are at the end of the series where we were discussing all these 12 questions for nabad it i hope this series was helpful for all of you who are preparing for nabad it papers if you still have any doubt just write it in the comment section or if you want to talk to us regarding any matter you can just uh, ping us at hello at examb.com or can give us a call at the number which is flashed on the screen also, if you want to uh, take a look at our demo offerings and the course for Nabad IT, because you can prepare 50% faster with iExamB, you just go to www.iExamB.com and there we are offering n number of courses for IT. Uh, so you can just check which suits you and what course is good for you. Okay, so if this video was helpful for you and you like this video, do hit the like button, press the subscribe button so that uh, you get the notification from our side by finally clicking on the bell icon. So yes, this is the task for you. Like, share and subscribe, hit the bell icon. So this was all from my side and for the series. See you in the next video with some different agenda.